Hi guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today what I'd like to talk about is how we can get that club face to square up at impact. So a lot of players come, come to me and it's a terrible thing to say but the, the higher the handicap the more likely they are to have this fault. The lower handicap players seem to manage it better. And the fault is that the club face is for a right handed golfer pointing right and also lofted. So they hit this high, soft cut to the right hand side. Sometimes it's not soft. Sometimes it's a big slinging cut. So what happens with it is, and I've got a trusty little bat here, this is going to represent the club face. So as I swing down into the ball, if my right forearm is lower than my left, I'm left in this position. I've got loft on the club and I've got a pointing out to the right hand side. So from here, come in, right forearm lower than left, high and right. That's going to cause me a problem. Now, where I see it really kicking in from is usually the upper body position. They're tilted to the right hand side or they're behind the ball for some reason. So for some people, they move off to the right hand side, don't get back, and as they hit the ball, it's in that loft and open position. Sometimes I'll see the ball so excessively forward towards the left hand side that they just can't get to where the ball is and again by the time they hit it even though their body has stayed quite central the club is lofted and pointing to the right and they get that big slice. So I've got two things I want to work on with you. The first one is getting better hand rotation into impact. So as we come down into the ball we're going to look for that, those forearms to rotate. So coming down into it, forearm is rotating, the right forearm is rotating over the top. And the drill I use with my students for that is pretty simple. We take our normal grip with the left hand, and then our right hand, a bit like the Spock live, live long and prosper salute, we're going to split the fingers. The smaller two fingers are on the grip, the next two fingers are on the steel shaft of the club and from there we're going to take a practice swing and what that does is it will cause the forearm to flip over the top it will teach that okay so that's going to square the club face for us and it's a straightforward drill so simply from here two fingers on the grip two fingers on the steel shaft as we swing down it turns over now remember guys, this is a practice drill. Don't try and pick golf balls with it on the golf course. The second thing is that trailing back. First things first, check your ball position. If it's too far forward, move it into a, a more suitable position. But if you're off on the right hand side and not getting back, what I look for is that the zip or the buttons on your shirt are going to be directly above the toes of your left foot. So as you swing into it, you get those buttons over the left foot. And that will allow you to square the face. If you split grip, if you rotate the forearms while hanging back, you will hit hooks. Just one of those things, guys. So, what we're looking for, simple keys. We're gonna use the split grip to get the right forearm riding over the top of the left forearm. And we're going to look to get the buttons of the shirt or the zip of my jumper here above my left foot and that's going to help me square the club as I come into impact hopefully cut out those dreaded cuts and slices hope you've enjoyed this video hope you found it useful if you have click on the little subscribe button and get all the videos as they come out talk to you soon guys take care have fun